Welcome back to our community. Susie Thomas visiting with Sarah Morelli. She is from A Chorus for a Cause, which I'm told you don't even have to try out. You just go to the practice, show up and say, hey, I'm here. I'm a, I'm a whatever, an alto, <laughs> a bass, soprano. And if you or, don't know, our director will help you figure out what part you are. Figure but, out, just yes. sing a scale and yes. uh, they can put you in the right place. Somehow you plug everybody in and come out with the best <laughs> show choir in Stark County. I love that. We need to find out, you know, sometimes it's just like, oh, what are they going to be singing? Can you give us a sneak peek of what we're going to get to hear on December 1st and December 16th? All righty. Some of them are like traditional ones, Mm -hmm. like here we come, a caroling, Mm -hmm. you know, ding dong, merrily on high, God Mm -hmm. rest you merry gentlemen. The prettiest version of the first Noel I have ever sung, and I've sang it with several choirs. Mm. And then we also have, for some of the younger at heart, a holly jolly Christmas. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Mm, love it. <laughs> and jingle bells is a wonderful thing. And how many Christmases? That one is one that really will get you thinking. How many mm. Christmases until we can have peace? Mm. Mm. And so that's, well, that's we now Christmas. Yes. So there's a whole variety of songs. Yes. Oh, sounds awesome. All right. This is going to be December 1st at the Canton South Performing Arts Center. Not all of the proceeds. Now, this one is $10 to to This one is a $10 entry fee, yes, at the door. Not all proceeds will benefit, of course, for the cause this time. Some will go towards the scholarship fund. Right. Then the rest of your concerts at Christmas time are free will offering, yes? Yes. So December yes. 16th at St. Timothy Episcopal Church, starting at 3.30, totally free, just free will offering. But remember, be generous in that free will offering because you're paying for a chorus for a cause. And then we want to remind everybody about the Harmony Ringers. I'll let you tell them where they are going to be as well. And their concerts are December 2nd at 3 o'clock at Grace United Church of Christ, which is in Uniontown. And then December 15th at 3 o'clock again at St. Stephen Martyr Lutheran Church, which is out by the mall there on Fulton. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you're not a member of that one. Do you happen to know what some of the music they're going to be performing will be? Oh, I have a little list here of a few of the songs. uh, They're doing Blue Christmas, 12 Days of Christmas, St. Nick Boogie, Little St. Nick by the Beach Boys, um, Deck the Halls. O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Oh. Again, there's a whole wide oh. variety of songs, and Christmas songs with bells are just gorgeous. So. Yeah. Can you have Christmas without bells? I don't think so. It's just a part of Christmas. <laughs> and, Isn't it? I mean, the songs they do at every concert are great, but Christmas, it just really brings with me a lot mm-hmm. more. <laughs> oh, it's absolutely beautiful. I love having you here because we can get a little behind-the-scenes peek at what happens with the greatest performance choir in Stark County. <laughs> what you've you've won this time and again with Stark's favorites. So yes. tell us what it's like being a member. What happens behind the scenes? Oh, we just all cheer and get real happy. <laughs> 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 it makes us feel good that we are, you know, people do appreciate what we're doing and that we are able to help so many others in the community as well. Mm-hmm. You have age all age groups? We have some kids in high school, and then we have some senior citizens, of which I'm getting closer to be. But <laughs> oh my goodness! No, nah, no, nah, I can tell you not. No, we have a wide variety of singers, and we welcome all singers. So, how do the different generations work together and find common ground and have a good time doing something that takes so much camaraderie to pull off? Everybody's just so nice and and welcoming, and we all wear name tags so that everybody can know your name. And it's it's just a wonderful group. Everybody is just there to have fun and to be a part of this. I'm thinking of high school students. I don't remember there being a lot of free time in high school. How, I know. Yeah, we earth? don't have many, but we do have, I think, about four or five right now high wow. school students. We just graduated two of them that went away to college. We were very sad to see them go. Yes. But they're what doing high, wonderful. Do you know what high schools are represented? 
I'm not sure right mm-hmm. now. The two that just graduated were both from Hoover. Wow. And one's at Notre Dame playing in the band now, and one I think is at Ohio State, and he's in like the men's chorus or something down there. So That really is remarkable because yes. high school is such a busy time, and for oh, them to do something so community-focused is right. very, very cool. Yeah, because it, it takes some time. It's not tons of time, but with everything else that they have going on, yeah, and it's amazing. Mm-hmm. And that they're willing to give of themselves already, which is very nice to see. That's a good sign. I bet these are some pretty good citizens in the making. Oh, they are. <laughs> so tell me about the relationship that you develop with each of the causes, because you are, from one concert to the next, really becoming spokespeople for the causes. And how do you dive in and get uh, all up to speed to be able to represent while you are going to be really raising funds and some significant funds for, them, for some yes. of these Well, causes. our um, board, you know, selects the cause, as mm-hmm. we talked about earlier, and then they have somebody come in to when we first start practicing, they have somebody come in from that cause and tell us all about them, and we get to meet some of them, and we've gone to some different events that they've held as well. They also try to sell tickets. They try to be a part of the whole process, and so it's really a joint effort between us and the cause for every concert. Has something just really surprised you? Not really. It's just that everything is so different, and there Mm. is so much out there that we could be helping with. Don't we live in an amazing community that has so much to offer so many people? Yes, we do. Tell me a little bit about your, your feeling of being a part of that and getting to really participate with everybody. You're, you're, you get to be a part of everything by being a part of a chorus with a cause. Yes, we do, and I just love it. And like I talked about before, you know, I want to start going out there and volunteering at these groups mm-hmm. to help them even more outside of what we do, it, give them from the concert proceeds. Because yeah. they are very worthwhile causes, and I get really excited when I hear what all they do. At each of our concerts, too, the, the ones for the cause, in the middle of a concert, we get to take a break and get a drink of water, and then the co- somebody from the cause will stand up and tell the whole you know, audience all about themselves, too. And sometimes they have PowerPoints or move, you know, little mm-hmm. videos or whatever, but that way they can learn all about the cause as well. Very cool. I go back to that very first year going, was, did you say Carnegie Hall? Oh, yes. They got to perform yes. at Carnegie Hall. Is yes. anyone that was part of that still a part of A Course for the Cause today? Yes. Yes, there are still quite a, quite a few in that core group that were there then. They talked about that experience. How did that come about? They were doing it. It was like a nationwide thing. There was a lot of choirs from around the country that were invited to participate in this. It was a really big you know, drive for breast cancer. And she formed the choir with that purpose to try to sing for that. And she performed it here, too, in the community. But the fact that they got picked on their very first year was phenomenal. Have they talked about what it felt like to be on that stage? Oh, they loved it. (laughs) Yes. A little intimidating? I know. (laughs) It's like a bucket list, you know, how many people can say that they got to sing in Carnegie Hall. (laughs) Yeah, that's a pretty small club, I think. Yeah, so the fact that you got to do that is, I'm so mad at myself that I didn't join that first year. It was starting to practice all during the summer, and you know, your summers are busy. My kids were younger and in school, and I just, oh, I don't have time, and I've regretted it ever since. <laughs> well, you mean you were considering it that first year? Yes. Yeah, I was considering it, and I just was too busy with work and the kids back then. So sure. I joined it the very next year. <laughs> that's cool. But, well, I think it's time that you all go back, maybe for the 10th anniversary. Hey, maybe that's why they're having a reveal party. Oh, maybe we're going back. Oh, something? <laughs> Oh, my gosh, and I would love to be able to be the one announcing that. Let yes, us know. That would be awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. What was it, Sarah, that made you say, okay, I'm doing this. I am diving in. Just, I liked the idea that it was giving back to the community as well. And a couple of people that were in the choir approached me about joining it, and I, and I liked them, and I thought, you know what, I love to sing. I'm going to do it. Why not? I'm going to make time. And so I did, and I've never regretted it. How do you recruit new members? Word of mouth and these kind of interviews and at concerts, I think she always tells them, too. You know, you're welcome to come and join us. And at the end of every concert, we sing a song that was from that original 
Sing for the Cure. Mm -hmm. And anybody that's ever sang with the Chorus for a Cause comes up to the front then and joins us. And so sometimes we have a lot more people coming up that they haven't been able to sing with us the whole time, but they keep coming to the concerts and coming back to join us. What is that song that unites you all? (laughs) What is it that you all sing at the end? (laughs) One one? Voice. I was trying to think what it was called. Oh, okay. One Voice. (laughs) One voice. That's, How yes, perfect. That's, that's appropriate. Yes. Yeah, so we are one voice singing for the cure, you know, trying to get everybody well, going it together. Yes. The whole idea has just been beautiful, for one thing. And the fact that something so simple can do so much good in our community is just really inspiring. I and know. It's fun to hear everyone's story with it. And we try to get, our board there tries to get sponsors for concerts, if at all possible, organizations, companies, because if they would pay the expenses for a concert, then all the money can go to the cause. Mm -hmm. And so we have been able to do that on several concerts, and that's been really nice. We have some (laughs) business people that listen, and we've got some churches that possibly would want to be a sponsor um, for some Mm -hmm. of these. Go ahead and put out an appeal right now. Yes, if anybody would, is interested in ever sponsoring one of our concerts, please let us know. And you can go to the website, and you can you know, and, um, talk to our, us through the website, but you can also see what the upcoming concerts are if there's something that you are really interested in trying to sponsor. If you help us sponsor a concert, then the more money we can give to these local causes that are so worthy and mm-hmm. need so much of our help. So 100% of the gate could go to the cause. And that has happened on several concerts. Mm, That's awesome. All right, well, let's repeat. We've got uh, just the closing minutes here. Let's repeat everything going on imminently. We've got uh, concerts on December 1st, December 16th, and for the A Chorus for a Cause, December 2nd and December 15th for the Harmony Ringers. So, Sarah, take it away. What is happening? Okay, so A Chorus for a Cause has a concert coming up on December 1st at 7 o'clock at the Canton South Performing Arts Center. It's $10 to get in at the door, but half of the proceeds is going to the Canton South Scholarship Fund, which is very nice for them. So, in a way, that's like a cause. And then we are presenting the same concert again on December 16th at 3.30 at St. Timothy's Episcopal Church in Massillon. That is um, a free concert. It's our Christmas gift to the public, but we will take a goodwill donation if anybody wants to donate to help us with our costs during the year. That, that would be more than welcome. And then the Harmony Ringers has two concerts coming up. Both of them are free. The first one is December 2nd at 3 o'clock at Grace United Church of Christ, which is on Cleveland Avenue in Uniontown. And then again on December 15th at 3 o'clock at St. Stephen Martyr Lutheran Church, which is on Fulton Drive in Canton. Awesome. For more information, go to a chorusforacause.org or harmonyringersofoh. Dot org. Sarah Marilli, thank you so much for all you do in our community. Thank you, Susie. Thanks for all of your help.